Well, throughout his career in IndyCar racing, he has lived by the adage, no attack, no chance. Now, it may have failed him in uh, 2012 on his white flag last ditch attempt to pass Dario Franchitti. But since then, he now has his, his face on the Borg Warner Trophy twice, including the most recent greatest spectacle in racing. We're talking about Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan's ace from Japan, Takuma Sato. Takuma, welcome to the Wind Tunnel. And by the way, thanks so much for joining us today. No, of course. Uh, thanks for having me and always have a pleasure to, to talk to you, Jack. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's a uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me walk away a little bit from the specifics uh, of your career. And I, I've always been interested. You're kind of a, an expatriate, so to speak, in the fact that each year in the NTT IndyCar season, you move by yourself to the United States of America, leaving behind a support system in Japan. How difficult has that been? Well, before that, I, I think we have to talk about a little bit my background career in Europe, too. So uh, um, I started racing really late, you know, since 20 years old, and I got scholarship from the Suzuka Racing School. Then obviously uh, went to UK, go through the all the junior former British Formula 3 made me happen to Formula 1 eventually and so therefore my almost entire career has been outside of Japan however I have incredible support from Japan as you can see on the background so uh, <laughs> very happy very very uh, very fortunate and very proud of that but it's a, it's a great support from Japan and since then my career okay it's done a Formula 1 and well it was kind of eight season ish and then 2010, I had a great opportunity to come to the States and a stern career. Now, of course, back in then, we have Indy Japan. So 2010 and then 11, uh, we had an enormous uh, the fan base in Japan. And it was just so great event. It was, I wish it could continue uh, from now on then, but it, it, it's happened, happened. So, uh, but since then, of course, um, uh, I find a, a great home in Indica and then, I mean, this is 11th season, and it's just unbelievable that how many years I've done that in the States. But it's all about appreciate it with these fans and, of course, all these sponsors. How Americanized have you become? <laughs> I think almost everything is Americanized. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, uh, Jack. Um, I have a great friends now in the States, um, as well as Europe, of course. But, the uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty get used to how I live in the States and uh, how you, how can I say, accommodate in here too. So um, both happy, of course, it's, it's I've, I've been in the States only during the season. So off season, there is lots of the sponsor event appearances and uh, you know, so on, so on. So I usually go back to Japan after the season end, which usually like September, October-ish, you know, last year was obviously, you know, long season, so it was November. But through the November, December, January, these three months I've been in Japan and doing lots of activity. So even though I'm pretty much Americanized, but um, I'm still, of course, Japanese and uh, I can live in, in both ways. I want to circle back to 2012 and the symmetry that finally was created when in 2020, you were able to deliver that elusive victory to Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan Racing. In victory lane, that seemed to overcome you just a little bit. It was almost as if, check the box, I've repaid the debt. Definitely. Uh, you're right, Jack. Um, definitely. I mean, it's um, winning 500, not just once, but twice. It's just obviously very special circumstance and very special moment. Um, happy myself, happy for my country and happy for everyone, of course, but most particularly for the team, um, because everybody knows in 2012 what happened to the last lap into turn one, as you described at the very beginning. And um, it took eight years, but uh, I was always thinking about that. I always, I felt I owed a win for the team and then uh, particularly for the Bobby and Mike Lanning in, in very particular, and of course, David Letterman, that those three owners waited for me for a long time, believe in me, long time, and I was finally able to deliver 
them as a result I wanted in 2012. So it was a huge a tick the box for sure. As we watched the race unfold last year, there was a different Takuma Sato, at least as a fan watching behind the wheel. A little less, a little less, no attack, no chance. <laughs> and, and a lot more of let me see what my car is doing and how mm-hmm. I, Takuma Sato, can adjust to it and maximize it. Am I onto something? I think you're correct. Yeah, I mean, in, in, in a way, my star has not been changed uh, in core part. But yes, as the overall performance and uh, the managing how the situation it has been developed uh, for sure. And that's, that's the just nature of the name of the sport. You know, every athlete wanted to be better every day. And uh, so I jump in a car every time and go testing or, or racing weekend. I always learning, I always find something. And then for sure, with the various experience in this Indy 500, now I really understand what you really need to get to be there. Um, maybe first few seasons, I couldn't really understand the whole mechanism and you know, what you really need. Uh, but took it, yes, uh, several years, but then now I know it. I got a great environment. And um, yes, I attack 100% when I really need it, which you've seen even last year, a couple of occasions, I, I go to the maximum attack. But other than that, you know, you have to, you have to really manage with all the risk and uh, what's coming in ahead and the particularly planning for the tire usage, the conditions in yourself and the cars and, and you're looking at the resource and, and you need to, to apply 100% when you really need it. And that's how I was able to do so in last year. So every year I'm learning something. And, and the finally, yes, in 2020, it was a more completed uh, way to produce the result perhaps even more than the 2017 meeting. We're on the brink of finally dropping the green flag uh, at Barber Motorsports Park and starting the 2021 NTT IndyCar season. Uh, a couple of episodes ago, we chatted with your teammate, uh, mm-hmm. Graham Rahal, who pretty much alluded to that the, the Rahal Letterman Lanigan operation made some market improvements in the off season. Uh, without giving away any trade secrets, where do you think most of the improvement came from? Well, I think um, I think it just uh, how can I say the consistency of the working development. I know other teams doing exactly the same thing, and of course, in the big teams like Penske, Ganassi, and Retail Sport, it, they're all doing the same things. But it's just a continuous of the making a really fundamental structure, and that's the engineering and the drivers and the boys. And I think the, uh, the Rayho team is committed so much. And uh, Graman and I obviously working extremely well over the past few seasons, working together and pushing together like hell and the laser whole level for the team. And I was able to do so because of the uh, team uh, fundamentally supporting us really, really well. On top of that, probably we are the, the most, uh, the team, how can I say, changing the, uh, the color library of the car, <laughs> race by race, which again is a big uh, accomplish for and, and a great job for the marketing team in the, uh, in the team did an excellent job. And so financially, I think we're making stable stability for the team. Therefore, we can get the great boys and great engineers. And of course, you know, can maintain the two drivers at the same, uh, uh, same status. So I think that uh, that's working really well. You know, when I joined, rejoined 2018, perhaps the Rayhill team was one of the most successful a single car team back then. But then with the various regulation change, we had a tough year in 2018, but then 19 and 20, we show a tremendous progress. Uh, we're not might, you know, to be the, the top of the game yet, but I think uh, the season, if you look at the performance that uh, we show a uh, uh, tremendous speed, both Graham and I. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And we need to continue to raise this bar for the year 2021. Before we end our conversation, uh, Japan proudly, after having forced by COVID-19 to postpone the Summer Olympics, uh, are set and ready, and they've begun the torch relay. Everybody in America wants to know, are they going to include you in that torch relay (laughs) as one of the Japanese heroes? Right. 
we'll see. <laughs> 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 I think uh, it was an, an honor to to receive. We've had opportunity with that, but with a very uh, um, how can I say the uh, still at some travel restriction with the quarantine rule, and it is during the season um, in July. So. Uh, it's going to be tricky, Jack. You know, even even they properly invited me, and even if I could do it, that was a plan last year, obviously. But um, we'll see. I, I love to do that for for that. It's a great honor for the country. As well was uh, the group representative for the NTT Indy Curses. If I could carry the torch, that'd be wonderful for once for your life. Amazing opportunity. Well, and it would be even more amazing if uh, everything comes together and you do get to do it, if you do it in your fire suit. <laughs> I, I, I love to I love to do so as much as you could, but I think in the, in the, strictly speaking with the technical regulation for the Olympics, I, I don't think I can do that. But anyway. Listen, it's always a pleasure to visit with you. Uh, as I said, we are all looking forward with great uh, excitement to the start of the 2020 campaign for you, your teammate Graham Rahal and Rahal Letterman Lanigan Racing. Uh, it is our profound wish that you gain much success and who knows you may get a third face on that Borg <laughs> Warner trophy come May yeah um of course uh we will try to get it uh, with 100 percent commitment and um there is no reason why we you know we we can't do it obviously extremely difficult extremely challenging but that's how we live and certainly I'm really excited uh, to go back to the IMS as a defending winner, as well as so looking forward to see you guys and to see you at the fans at Speedway, because last year it was just so sad, you know, it was just so empty, which we don't want to see again. So uh, um, hopefully uh, even limited number perhaps, but you know, love to see all the fans and the buzzing about all about, all about 500 it is atmosphere and tradition. So. Let's do that. Takuma, thanks so much for visiting us here in the wind tunnel. Thank you very much, Jack. We'll be right back, right here on Jack Roots Wind Tunnel. All right, I need to ask you a favor. We have a little fun with this. If you could just say, I'm Takuma Sato, Indy 500 champion, and you're listening to Jack Roots Wind Tunnel. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Takuma Sato, 2017 and 20 Indy 500 winner. You're listening to Jack Owners. Sorry, Jack. Um, Jack a root. Uh, sorry, Jack, Jack a root. Yes. A sorry. root, like in the root. ground. A root. Okay, a root. Yeah, sorry about that. I no worries. That. <laughs> it's, I always just call you only Jack. Jack, that's right. <laughs> right, let's do it again. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Takuma Sato, 2017 and 20 in the 500 winner. You're listening to Jack a root wind tunnel. Now, for America, do yeah. it in Japanese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 日本の皆さん、こんにちは。えー、佐藤拓馬です。えー、今日はジャックアルートさんのウィンドトンネルにご招待させていただきました。えー、どうぞお楽しみください。ありがとう。Okay, thank you very much. ありがとう、ジャック。Best wishes. <laughs> Take care.、Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Na 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 na.